I hope you all are ready for the weekend. So I just want to kind of take you along with me um, as I do things in the garden today. So this video will be a little bit different. Normally what I will do is I will kind of sit down and write down some things that need to be done. But we're going to freestyle it today because I have so many things that need to be done um that i don't even know where to start right now so we're just going to work a little bit at a time i'm going to go ahead and try to harvest as much of this chamomile as i can because it's growing season is pretty much over but we have so much that we've dried so i'm going to make tinctures out of it i've been drinking it as tea um, but i'm just trying to figure out what do i want to put um in here once i have pulled this now i'm going to go over right here because these are um the container raised gardens that we have growing right here on our patio and during the fall we had all type of leafy greens tat soy bok, uh, bok choy growing in here and so right now we have tomatoes that are growing along with some marigolds in the front i'm so ready for these to turn it's like watching paint dry y'all you see all these good tomatoes on here and then it's like i'm gonna turn when i feel like it okay and so we have this one right here we also have this one that is right here but we have thyme that is planted in the front and then we have another um patio container that uh three more patio tomatoes. So I don't know if I'm going to put any more tomatoes right here. You guys leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think, what we should plant in this one. So when I harvest my chamomile, I don't harvest a whole bunch um, because I'm limited on space. And I'll take you inside to my drying room, okay? AKA my dining room. Okay, my husband has been really getting He's been giving me the side eye about this because I've turned the dining room into like a space just for drying my herbs, which I have. And then I have my laundry room for my big herbs, like my lemongrass and stuff like that. But it was my intention to go to the garden center. I already have a rack that I was gonna get like the screen netting and put some herbs like this on here to air dry. Now my chamomile flowers, I don't um, put in the dehydrator. I just let them air dry. So. That's why I don't um, harvest a whole bunch and I harvest maybe every few days. So once they're dry, I can go ahead and move them and then, you know, harvest some more. So right now we have in heavy rotation, uh, the chamomile flowers, the calendula flowers and the bachelor buttons and lavender. So we've been having that in heavy rotation, but before I go in, I don't know if y'all can hear the birds, but they have really been doing the most this year. And so now, that I fooled them with my blackberries, okay? So it was a couple days, let me turn the camera around because we have strawberries growing right here on the patio. So it was a couple days ago, I looked at some strawberries and I said, I'm gonna wait maybe a day or two. So that way they're like, oh, they're ready. Okay, the birds got to doing their call and they came out here and they ate them, y'all. That's what they did but they didn't eat them all they take their beaks and they just like peck in them and then you can't use them so i'm going to go ahead and harvest some of these strawberries that are growing um here this is our snowy bell uh strawberry plant by bushel and berry very pleased with it it actually came out it puts out really nice strawberries we had some here on the side that they're trying their best um to get to they're trying, they are trying, but yeah, they've been really messing things up because we have one, two, three, four, maybe six, seven containers with strawberries right here on the patio. So I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest these right here, right now. And um, they gonna have to go somewhere else for strawberries. It's, it's not gonna be here today. It's not, it won't be here. Okay, so let me show you my little operation here, y'all. So these calendula flowers, they're dried. Um, I'm gonna save some for tea, but I'm also making um, calendula oil with these as well. Look how pretty the color still stays when they're dry. That's why I like to grow my own. We have some bachelor buttons here. Um, we got lemongrass that I gotta cut up and put in mason jars that I sterilize. 
Um, we got rose petals here that are waiting on me. Um, some lavender and then just like more herbs down here. We got mint, we got more calendula. And again, I don't really turn on the dehydrator for um, a lot of our flowers and our herbs. Uh, really, I'll turn it on like if I'm drying fruit like lemon. Um, I'll turn it on if I'm drying ginger or turmeric. Um, but I've just kind of let them start air drying. I used to do it, but it really doesn't take a long time uh, for them to air dry. And then also this is the chamomile that we um, harvested the other day. So this is dry as well, but you see the color that it retains. I absolutely loved it. And then when we were growing our Johnny Jump Ups, these are the dry flowers for that one. So this is the makeshift, um, <laughs> this is the makeshift kind of drying room, kombucha room, seed starting room. We got a lot of stuff going on here. But what I'm going to do, because this one is completely dried. And so just really quick, what I do is I just kind of put them like this and just rotate them just so that they can get good airflow to them. So that's what we're going to do with the chamomile that we just harvested. So yesterday was a nice cloudy day, but not so much today. And I have once again wait, waited until the sun is like high in the sky. But I'm going to take you all to the garden center with me because I have to do two things. So I'm going to turn the camera around because I have been um, putting the mulch down. So I need to go get some more bags of that. And I do that on purpose, y'all. I straight up like make sure I don't get enough bags so I can go back and see what all they got in while I wasn't there. And then um, I'm gonna show you, um, my husband ran the drip to the new part, but we were like, oh, right at the end and ran out. And I wanna see if I can get this brown drip tape. Um, basically he has it like teed. So if I can find it, all I have to do is connect it um, because I don't like the way it's looking now. I had some old drip. Um, that had the sprayers on there, but it, it just ain't working out for me. So we'll see what we can find at the garden center. Let me turn the camera around so I can show you all exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I tried to tell y'all it was hot. And then when you pile on the humidity with it, it's like crazy. Um, but so I checked the app. They don't have the kit in stock. I really don't need the kit. I just need some more drip tubing. And so I'm going to go here and see if there's something I can get. Um, they have two in stock at another location that's like an hour away, but I know it's the weekend. People are trying to go to the beach. Um, they're building like a bridge in Savannah and people are just not adhering to when the lane narrows and to slow down. And I'm, I'm just not about that life today. Not, not today, you know, like, if I were to do something like that, I would, if I don't see what I'm looking for, I'll get up like early in the morning, like super early and go there. So I don't even have to hardly deal with any traffic or I'll get my husband to take me. Um, but when I get him to take me, I have to be very mindful of the things that I bring out to the truck. Okay. Because sometimes I get the side eye once again, as a matter of fact, the other day I brought out some plants and he said, I thought you said you were going to buy no more plants. And I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't. Okay. So let's go. Let's see what they have. I'll take you along. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to go buy the plants and see what they got. I really am. Um, I'm looking for two particular plants to go in my raised bed um, because I'm about to pull my pansies up. They're done. Um, it's just getting too hot for them. So I want to have something to replace them. Sure, I have flowers, but you know, why not look and see what they have? That's what this is all about, okay? So let's go. I'll take you with me. Um, I don't have my stand for the car, so let me get focused on the road, y'all, because it's, I'm telling you, it's the weekend. 
and everybody doesn't drive like I do and I'm not the very best driver as well so I'm going to get focused. they don't have what I'm looking for this is more of like the tubing that helps you extend I'm actually looking for the drip and they don't have they don't have the drip they have the tubing they have the, um, the small tubing for extension so I may have to go to the other one or either just like order it for pickup since they said they only have two available hopefully they'll have that so let's go outside let's look at the plants okay so i am back and it is exactly like i said it would be i didn't even go like very far but it's exactly how i said it was going to be um they didn't have the drip tubing that i was looking for separate as you saw uh, they had the mulch and I found one flower that I wanted to replace where my pansies were but the line was extremely long and I guess they have a sale on mulch so it was just like no come back another day. I did go somewhere else and I'll show you what I found. This is like a quick in and out. When I, even though I'm looking for things um, that I need for my garden, I always think about other people. And then I always think about what ways can I encourage them to grow. So as soon as I saw this, y'all, let me show you what I did get. As soon as I saw this, I said, this would be perfect for um, a container garden. Now I'm not gonna put all four of these herbs in one container. So this is like the barbecue herb mix and you have thyme, you have sage, um, oregano, and rosemary. But from experience, the rosemary will try and take over, okay? So we're not going to put all four of these herbs in uh, one container. But I thought about doing like a nice herb container garden um, for someone that I had in mind and then give that to them. So I bet y'all didn't know that I bring the sunshine every time I walk outside. It literally was like cloudy. So I was like, let me come outside really quick and do some things. But the sun came right back out. So if you remember from my last video, and I'll make sure that I put it in the cards, this is where we had our white onions at. So we harvested those those are drying and so now what we're going to do is I am going to plant some cayenne pepper here no I'm not a hot pepper fan whatsoever but again I grow things for family friends and then um, I also make like a cayenne liniment with it and then I'm going to probably pickle some and then grind some into a powder we'll see how much we get so I'm going to clear up this but what I love about nature y'all is they have abundantly given me more Thai basil this year I was supposed to start it from seed see I didn't even have to I probably have at least 20 25 volunteers of Thai basil like this is one right here that I'm going to take my um a little shovel and pull up but like all in the walkways right here this is like a patch of thai basil so we're gonna pull those out i got some intermixed right here um so probably about at least over 20. now i may not pull them all up today but this is how i'm able to like continue to multiply in the garden so we're gonna do that we're gonna plant the cayenne pepper and then um 
let's see what else we're going to get done today. I told y'all this is like a freestyle day. Um, so let me go ahead and plant that and then we'll see what we're going to do next. So I'm about to get this area very good and saturated because I'm going to plant a few ears of corn. Now we have the baby butternut squash over here that's growing, but I'm going to trellis that up because our bachelor buttons are all over the place. Um, the next time I'm definitely gonna have to state them. And then over here we have our black and blue salvia um, that draws in plenty of hummingbirds. And these come back every year for me. So I'm going to direct sow, which is I'm just gonna place the corn seed right here. Um, right here and then we're gonna have the baby butternut squash that's going to we're going to train to go up the trellis so let me go ahead and get this area um really good and saturated and i'm just going to put the seeds in here and wait for them to grow so we got our corn direct sowed. so we put the seeds directly in there this was the last of our straw mulch actually i'll put this one over here too because that came out of this bed this batch right here definitely had a whole bunch of all kind of stuff coming up so hopefully the next batch that i get it will not do that i just have to strategically take my time and just like pull everything out which takes time so one more thing before we close up for the um evening i hope you all have enjoyed like spending time with me um let me know in the comments if you enjoy this type of content just like hanging out with me normally i do have a list of everything that i need to do but like i said today we freestyled it so now i want to show you the front because the bud worms and the snails are really trying me up okay so um i'm just gonna leave this right here i have to go get some straw mulch tomorrow another reason to go to the garden centers i think i'll go to my favorite one i'll get up really early in the morning um but the corn is planted so hopefully in a few days or in a few days because what i did really quick is when i direct sow i do more than one seed per area so that helps aid with germination so if i only did like one seed something may or may not come up but if i do two to three seeds per that area then that helps um to increase the germination rate so um hopefully we'll see those popping up in a few days and then um we're we're going to go ahead and cover up um our butternut squash as well but let me take you to the front so i can show you what's going on and we're going to spray and that's going to be the last thing for today Okay, so these are our Super Tunia Bordeaux, but the slugs and the budworms are really taking over these two right here. These seem to be doing okay. This one over here seems to be doing okay, and I got one more. Um, we still have to mulch here, but I want to get this under control um, before I don't have anything. Like, they've really been eating it, you know, just very... A lot of disrespect going on this year but we're going to get it together so i'm just going to um sprinkle down some sluggo for the snails and then i'm going to use my bt um for the bud worms and spray and normally if i do maybe a couple sprays of those um then that kind of takes care of everything once i get everything planted up in this area i'll come back and give you a tour of everything um, I'm still trying to just make sure that I pull up all the weeds and mulch really good. We have some beautiful flowers that are going to be popping up really soon, but let me get my super tunias under control. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. So if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'm going to keep you posted and updated on the garden. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video and until the next video, bye-bye.